Hey y'all, so we have been traveling to the United States of America for the past several weeks, but we are going back to Europe, just so we can tell you a little bit more about our experience and what we did with Viking on our Rhine getaway. So let's go. While we were on our Rhine getaway, we chose to pop on a pre-extension in Basel so that we'd have an extra full day in the city. Hi, it's day one in Basel. Woohoo! For this extension, we stayed at the gorgeous Hyperion Hotel. And on the first full day, we had a tour with our absolutely incredible guide, Anne-Marie. But first, we had to get to the city center, which meant hopping onto the metro. As part of our stay at the Hyperion, we were given a Basel card, which allows you to ride the metro for free. Plus, you get some discounts at local restaurants and attractions. But the metro was the big thing. It was a lifesaver. While everything was pretty walkable, and we did walk it a few times, the metro is by far the easiest way to get around. It's also super clean, just like the entire city. From the hotel, we rode the metro about four stops until we were at the city center of Basel, Switzerland. The tour started with a little walking where we saw a super cool fountain, explored bits of the Christmas market, and just passed by some of the cool shop windows. Anne-Marie also highlighted some of the best restaurants in the city and told us more about the history of Basel itself. We'll link an article in the description that tells you more. Then we arrived at Munster Church. Inside the church, there's a stone under a glass panel with a mythical creature etched on it. It's called the Basilisk. And they're sort of the guardians of Basel. An interesting dragon-rooster combo. It's believed that if you make a wish and stand on the stone, that your wish will come true and you'll have good luck. We don't really believe in all of that stuff, but we did get our picture standing on the stone, as did most everyone in the group. You'll find Basilisks throughout the city. See how many you can spot throughout this video. Another interesting factoid is that there are several famous people buried here. You can even take a tour of the underground mausoleum, but we didn't get to do that. Maybe next time. Just out back behind the cathedral is a courtyard, which leads to the most spectacular view of the city. I also found a screaming seagull, which surprisingly I was the only one entertained by him. Oh well. We continued our walking tour winding through the city and we started talking about apartments and parking. As you can see, there really aren't any cars parked on the street. So Anne-Marie helped us discover the solution. Car elevators that lead to underground parking. No telling what these poor people were thinking, a bunch of tourists taking photos of their car. So sorry, we're new here. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that is so cool. Our last stop was the Basel Town Hall, which is absolutely stunning, especially with the massive Christmas tree. And we all signed the book. You write down what you want most, your desire, and supposedly it'll come true. Tour is over. Tour was okay. fabulous. Amazing. Our tour guide, Anne-Marie, was so good. So now it's off to find some good Swiss lunch. Some Swiss cheese, you know? Chocolate? Chocolate, for sure. We passed by at least a dozen authentic Cheers. Swiss restaurants and Anne-Marie's recommendations, but somehow managed to choose a tapas place. We had some delicious ham and cheese croquettes that I wish I could get my hands on right now. And some potatoes with an interesting and sort of questionable sauce. Not bad, but not as amazing as those croquettes. Oh, and the bread. The bread is always delicious. We walked off lunch by visiting a Lint chocolate store. Makes sense, right? And then it was coffee time. So we stumbled into a bookstore and Jenny attempted to order coffee. I really wish I could explain this story better, but long and short of it is, who knew I could order a coffee and give myself a literal panic attack? How do you hold it? It's so hot. Oh, it's so good. How do we drink it? It's good. We explored a department store and then headed back to the Hyperion for a little R and R before dinner. Anne Marie got us reservations at an adorable little restaurant so we could enjoy some Cordon Bleu, a Basel specialty. When we walked in, a large table of older men started speaking to us in German, and that's when we knew it was going to be a good time. Bread. We were right. 
The food was out of this world delicious. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> we worked off the calories by doing a photo shoot for Rome luggage. Click the link in the description for $50 off your purchase. And don't forget to tune in on Friday for Basel Day 2. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye!